Hello everyone, here is another tutorial video for the Evers Labs A320 series and today we are talking about how to execute a diversion. In the previous video I talked about how all the fuel quantities are calculated and also how you determine at what point you would need to divert to your alternate airport. If you haven't seen that uh, video yet, I strongly suggest you do it. Um, here is the link to that video. So let's uh, dive straight in um, how a diversion can be executed here in the FS Labs A320. And there is three different possibilities to do that. The first is via the secondary flight plan function. The second option is then to enable the alternate function. And the third one is by simply um, selecting a new destination. And so that's via the new destination revision option. So let's have a quick look at our fuel state. Um, we can see that for our destination Valencia and the alternate Ibiza, we have a alternate fuel of 1.3 tons and the final reserve fuel stands at 1.1 tons, um, exactly like it says on the flight plan. So the FMS confirms that we have an extra fuel of about 600 kilograms, and that equals again exactly what we have uh, planned. Okay, so let's assume we expect a possible diversion and we want to reduce the workload later on in the approach. We just simply uh, copy the active uh, flight plan again into the secondary flight plan function and then on the secondary flight plan, we click Enable Alternate. So we can see that now Ibiza has become the new destination on the secondary flight plan page, just to make sure you understand. And now on the secondary flight plan, we can simply program the routing um, that we expect. So it's going to be Otzen. And from there, it's going to be a airway. So we're going to enter uniform Zulu 224. That goes all the way to Varut. And from there, we'll uh, shoot the ILS Zulu runway 24. And the arrival is going to be the Varut 3 November scroll through the routing make sure uh, we're going to take out all the discontinuities or double waypoints for that matter and so on the NAF display we can now see on the secondary flat plan function um, the diversion routing to our alternate airport and so this uh, secondary function is uh, quite uh, good um, for a pre-planning purpose um, while the next two examples that I will show you um, are actually examples where the decision to um, divert has been already made and so it's more a um, straight execution to get to your alternate airport. And so the first example I will show is um, the new destination revision and for that we will simply go to our flight plan page select um, a waypoint here we take Sopet for example and then just enter our alternate airport into the new destination um, prompt there insert that and voila um, we have the new destination available to us uh, including the approaches and uh, again the arrive routing that we can simply insert this assumes also that we have a little bit of time um, to enter that um, and enter the waypoints into the flat plan page and then uh, insert that. Once that is done, we can have a look at the NAF display and we can see the active flight plan is uh, exactly what we've entered into the flight plan page uh, for our diversion. And it has become um, active straight away. And so we come to the third option and that is the enable alternate function. And that will be done if uh, for some reason suddenly um, you are forced to um, divert on a short term notice. And all you need to do in this case is uh, simply choose a waypoint 
and select the enable alternate function. Be aware, please, that the aircraft will go straight into heading mode. Uh, the flat plan, the current flat plan is uh, deleted. And so again, you have to program in the routing. Um, although I would assume just like in real life, uh, you would get a direct to a uh, waypoint from ATC um, and from there uh, a certain routing. I'm simply going to program in again the ILS24 uh, Zulu uh, with the Varut uh, 3 November arrival. So let's assume we get cleared direct to Varut. And again, we have inserted the routing back on NAV mode and we're now diverting to Ibiza. So next thing to do is then go and um, select your cruising level. In our case, it's flat level 150. And uh, enter that again into the um, progress page. And then, of course, uh, adjust your cost index. Um, you know, if you're planning with long range crews or something, um, you may need to make sure that um, you change that as well. And now, uh, with those values being entered, the FMS will calculate uh, the correct uh, fuel values again. So we can see that uh, we expect to arrive at Ibiza with about 2.2 tons. Uh, presently, we have 2.8 tons remaining. So I've slewed forward a little bit. And we are in the approach uh, into runway 24 uh, at Ibiza. And I flew the uh, completely standard arrival routing and a transition. And so uh, we'll have a look at how uh, the fuel situation is once we touch down. And so we can see we touched down exactly with 2.2 tons remaining, uh, just like the first estimate uh, showed um, when we entered the cruising altitude and the uh, cost index. And so this is how you execute a diversion in the FS Labs A320. The same applies obviously for the A319 and then later uh, once the A321 is released. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have questions, post them down below and I will try to answer them ASAP. Thank you much as always for watching. Thanks for the amazing support and I see you again in the next one. Until then, happy landings.